Right, this video we're going to look at keyframing again, so I'm going to go over what we did in the last uh, video series, but explore a few different um, keyframing techniques. So for this view, you want to be in effects. So if we go to effects, and we'll see these effects down the, the right hand side, and then we've got our keyframing window here on the left hand side in our effects control. So what I want to actually start playing about with here is, let me just see which one's which. So the bottom one is the main one. So what I want to start doing is changing the movement and the position of these. So again, all of these um, little stopwatches can be are, are your animation. At the minute, we've got some animation and opacity. I don't want that. You can turn that off. Um, I must have accidentally tapped that. So what we're going to do is move this along to about one second. So you can see on the sequence here or sequence here, it's about one second. You can even go in and make sure that you're at one second by doing that. And I'm going to add a keyframe of that's where I want that position to be at one second. So if I want that to, to sort of take a snapshot of that, I hit the, the stopwatch and you can see it's created a keyframe. If I move that along to about 2.30, uh, sorry, 2, 2, I remember in 2.4 frames per second, 24 frames per second, so let's go for three seconds. Again, if we want to get really neat, and I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to hit a keyframe. Now, you can hit this little thing here, add remove keyframe, so it will add the same thing, so it's like a snapshot. So between this bit here, it's going to stay exactly where it is. Now, at the start, I want this to uh, slide in from the right or from a different direction. So if you start dragging this value here, you can move it off screen. So let's just move it off there. Okay, so let's have a look. You can see it zooms in. All right, so let's go across to this bit and let's go to uh, four seconds. Look at that, got it spot on. And zoom it off to the right. So there we go. So let's hit play. There you go. We've animated it in a very sort of basic way. You'll see that there isn't that kind of speeding up and speeding down, so it does look a little bit basic. Okay, so to change that, what we need to do is select these two, I'm dragging over these, selecting these two keyframes, and right click, coming down to these different um, keyframing types here, these different. Um, options. So we're going to go for Temporal Interpolation, Continuous, Bezier. And if we hit this little arrow next to the stopwatch, you can see what that's doing. So this is very similar to, uh, to Maya, you know, and it's a very similar workflow to a lot of editing and video editing uh, software such as After Effects. And what you've got here, uh, you can actually have these extra controls so you can change the speed coming in and coming out. So what I want to do is move this along and move this along. So you can see that we've got, we're, this is like your velocity, your speed. So it's slowly speeding up, getting really fast before it exits, same at start. So I've just been moving these two here really, grabbing these and changing it. So you've got this, um, extra speed kind of coming in. So you can see you can get even more speed by moving that one. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. So you go, it's sped up and as it leaves, it speeds up. So I'm quite happy with that. What might be cool is maybe if it slowed down a little bit more. So what we could do is even drag this and drag that up. Let's try that again. Here you go, so it's a little bit slower. And then I like the exit. So have a play at moving these uh, to where you're happy. And 
get it going and animating the way that you like. Okay, cool. So next thing is to do the other one. So I'm going to click on uh, the character design text and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So one more time, turn off the opacity, uh, come along to uh, one second and hit position keyframe. Okay, there we go. So it's like a snapshot. Come along to three seconds, hit the add keyframe. I can't really see that because it's just over the top of the number. There you go, this one. So add keyframe. And then what we'll do is do the same thing. So drag the position of where you want it at the start. So this time we'll go down. So there you go. So as that one's going across, that one goes up. And then as that one exits, this one does. So let's go for the same thing. Four and there we go. So there we go. So have a look. So you'll see that obviously with this one, we've just got the bog standard speed settings. So let's change that. So holding these two down, right click, temporal interpolation, continuous Bezier. And now we do the same thing. So we're gonna get this spike up, get this spike up, and let's see how that looks. So what might be cool is if we even maybe delayed these tweaked to when they come in or not, just so they don't sort of clash. Let's see if we kind of stagger them. There you go, that's quite cool. So there's a bit of a delay to the character design one coming in. Right, nice. So I'm happy with that. You can have a bit more of a play as you like and uh, in the next video we'll add some motion blur.